Marhaba, my chingus. Welcome back to the Daily Opa. Today we're talking about K pop party Lebanon. So as the party started and the guests were coming in, me and the other coordinators, we started passing out uh, the, the Korean food to them. And then uh, also um, I was trying to get, I was getting to know some people, you know, like uh, getting selfies with them. Boom, and getting more selfies. Boom, Can you tell me a little bit how you got to know Korean pop? Well, my friend was uh, and liked K-pop a lot, so I liked them from her. Okay, so she's like, I started watching videos from her. So you I started, started watching music videos, you know, yeah. right? Okay, and who's your, uh, you're a fan of who? BTS. BTS. You're all a fan of BTS. Uh, yes. During the event, we had a variety of entertainment, one of them being uh, K-pop song covers uh, done by very talented Lebanese girls. <laughs> I was already wowed that there's even uh, Lebanese girls that can sing beautifully in Korean, but then Mr. John Kim offered to uh, sing a traditional Korean song. <laughs> And what was really cool about that actually was that uh, midway through the song, the power went out. And uh, the power went out because, hey, it's Lebanon, and that's just what happens. <laughs> But that did not stop uh, the guests from enjoying uh, the music because uh, when the power went out, everyone really got involved, started clapping and all that. <laughs> yes, we wanted the K-pop party to be entertaining, but we also wanted it to be uh, like culturally uh, educational. So um, we asked Mr. Jahed to uh, speak to us. And who is he? He is a Lebanese man that used to live in Seoul, Korea. And let's not forget, it's not really K-pop if you don't have dance covers. Who would have thought that Hello Kitty can dance to K-pop? One of the reasons why I wanted to do this party was because Lebanon has been really good to me, okay? Like Lebanese people have been like so like the most generous, kindest people I've ever met and so I wanted to give back. And uh, so during the party, uh, we did a K-pop trivia and where people could win uh, K-pop prizes. At the end of the party, as things were winding down, it became more of like a party party. I had such an amazing time. It turned out way better than I expected because I was really freaked out in the morning. I was scared. Uh, I was making the fried rice and people were showing up late with the, getting the speakers, the microphone, the lights, the blah 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 blah. It was all coming late, so I didn't know what, what was going to happen, but everything worked out and uh, very grateful for that and for my friends who uh, 
helped me put this thing together. Uh, gosh, I won't lie to you. I am going to miss Lebanon. Well, 